Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I've got these awesome poly gel nails using jewel forms to show you. So if you want to see how these turned out, then just keep watching. So Madam Glam very kindly sent me two of their poly gels, Japanese, Camellia and also Blush Peony to use for this video. They also sent me their jewel forms and I must say their jewel form pack is the best I've seen. It has 12 sizes and 360 tips this is the best one i've seen on the market i have not done jewel forms before so this is my first time trying it out but these jewel forms made it so easy they are all numbered so it makes it super easy to size them up and they have little markings down the side to help with length so if you're doing a client's nails it makes it easier so I've got bare nails and for the purpose of this video I'm going to apply a peel off base coat so I can remove these nails at the end of the video really easily so we can have a closer look at the structure of the nail. So I'm just sizing up these jewel forms to my nail and if they're a little too big I just go for the size down or if they're a little too small the size up and they are really easy to size up. I'm going to give you a closer look here, I just place it at the cuticle and then rock it down making sure I'm rocking it from side to side also to make sure that it fits from side wall to side wall and you can see here on the thumb that's number three and I'm just making sure it fits nicely it's better to go a little bit bigger than smaller so with this poly gel system you are recommended to use Madame Glam base coat first so I'm applying that to the nail I'm working on and curing for 30 seconds. I'll be using the Madame Glam paddle and brush which is the double ended one and I'm going to start off with blush peony and that is the translucent pink. So I'm just squeezing it straight out of the tube onto the jewel form. I found that that was the easiest way to use this and then I'm going in with my paddle and I have dipped the paddle in a bit of alcohol just to make it easier to move that poly gel about and I'm just roughly smudging it about in the jewel form to get it in the rough area that I want it. As I did say this is the first time I've used these jewel forms so if you use them and love them I would love it if you would comment down below any tips or tricks that you have found when using jewel forms so that I can make my life a little bit easier the next time I decide to play with jewel forms. So I'm just using my brush now to neaten up that application making sure I've got it really nice and flush around the cuticle area so that is what it looks like so far. So the way I applied it is placing it at the cuticle area and pushing down and you can kind of see it stick to the nail and then it does say hold it for a few seconds on the nail to make sure it is properly attached and kind of suctioned onto the nail. I just check the side walls to make sure I haven't flooded it with any gel and I'm then going to cure it in my lamp for 60 seconds. So once that's out you just have to squeeze that end of the jewel form and that just creates like a release and you can see it there the air going underneath and it just pops off really easily. It looks kind of rough and harsh in the video but it's super easy and super smooth to do. So that's the first nail. I did a really simple square shape for the thumb. There are a couple of bubbly air pockets and a little bit messy around the cuticle. A couple of lumps under the free edge but for my first go I thought it was pretty okay I love how when it comes out of the lamp and you take the form off it is completely smooth it's rock hard and solid and good to go for filing so I'm now going to go in and do another nail using blush peony which is the translucent pink poly gel and again I'm using my spatula side to just smear it into place. I'm going to go for a kind of a coffin shape with this nail. I like how you've got time with poly gel to move it about in the form. Whereas if say you're using acrylic you have limited time before it sets and you need to get it on the nail. So this does just give you that freedom to perfect your shape in the form before you stick it onto the nail. Also I feel like um, a hard gel would be runny so it would be hard and then I feel like when you put it on the nail it would flood the cuticles. So I definitely think poly gel is the best thing to use when you're doing dual forms. So you can see here with this nail I did push it down at the cuticle but then when I was pushing it down at the free edge area I pulled it away from the cuticle so I then had to push it back and I made a bit of a mistake in creating a lip in the poly gel so that wasn't good. 
but apart from that it applied really easily so I'm just squeezing it and giving it a rock here and then it just releases that form off of the nail really quick and easily so that is the coffin shape before filing again it's completely smooth no tackiness and it created a really nice shape so I'm quite happy with how that one turned out again I've got a couple of bubbles in it but apart from that it was pretty good the underneath was quite tidy and neat so yeah I'm happy with how that nail turned out so I'm now going to do the other three nails with the other colour of poly gel which is Japanese Camellia. This is a more opaque pink poly gel. So I'm going to apply my base coat onto those three nails and just squeeze that poly gel into the dual form. This is definitely the easiest way of applying that poly gel into the dual form. So using my spatula to smear it out, I was going for an almondy stiletto-y kind of shape for this nail and I have sped it up a little bit because you've already watched me apply two. So I love using the brush to neaten it up, getting it really nice and flush in the cuticle area. The one thing you need to be careful with is making sure you've got enough product in that stress area and the apex. Otherwise it will just break when you um, have these nails and you're using them and wearing them. So definitely make sure you've got enough product in the areas you need it to create a good strong nail. So I'm just placing that in the cuticle area and pushing down creating that suction onto the nail and holding it in place for a couple of seconds this one did move about a little bit so when i took it off i realized i created a little lip around the cuticle area but it was okay i just when i came to finish filing i just filed it and it filed flush so that was okay but there are the two side by side, the coffin and the almond shape, and you can see the colour difference. So I just gave it a push and a, a pull to see if it was strong, and you can see there, I'm just giving you a close up of where I created that lip, but it was okay, like I said, I just fold it, and it went away. So there are all of the nails done, I just did two more nails in that poly gel on the ring finger and the baby finger with two different shapes, and... You can see the underneath side there, there is slight lumps. And then there you have it after finish filing with a top coat. I really love how these turned out. They were really easy to create all the different shapes. I definitely would say that poly gel is um, the best for using dual forms. And if you are using dual forms, I think it works better for the shorter nail styles. So for example, like this nail here on my thumb, I did a short square and it worked really well. I did find it did work well for the longer coffin and the pointy stiletto nail but I would say with the longer nails you need a higher apex and a better structure because of obviously of the length so I would say with the longer nails it's not as good in terms of structure because you can't add too much in the structure area if that makes sense. And you can see here underneath the almond nail I did get quite a lot of build up of product from where I pushed it down too much and it kind of all spilled out at the free edge. But for nails like this that are short and this one is round it was really easy to use the dual form and it worked really well. For the baby finger I thought I'd have some fun and do it super super long. It actually turned out alright but again I don't think this is structurally sound, the apex isn't correct. So for longer nails I wouldn't say it works as well. So for those three nails I used Japanese Camellia Poly Gel from Madame Glam and then for the pointy finger and the thumb I used Blush Peony. So now I'm going to take off the nails, I did apply that peel off base coat underneath the Madame Glam base so that I could remove these at the end of the video, that was literally just for the purpose of this video, so if I wanted to use this on a client I wouldn't use that, I'd just go straight in with a Madame Glam base coat and it would last for three weeks until the fill. So the reason why I did this is because I wanted to have a closer look at the structure, so taking them off allows me to have a good inspection and you can see here it it is very thin around the cuticle area which is good but it doesn't have that much of an apex and you can see here with the opacity of the gel as well that gives it away that around the tip area it is a lot thicker where you have to push down that gel and it kind of spills out along the free edge especially with this nail here you can see there's a massive difference in thickness around that tip area so much so I had to really go underneath and file it but even then it was really thick but with shorter nails like this one, it works perfectly. There's 
a perfect amount of product in the apex area because it is only a short nail so it works heaps better for shorter nails and you can see here there is a lump at the end so if I was going to do this again I would work on getting that free edge a little bit less bulky and not pushing down as much but there you have it that's my review and tutorial of the Madame Glam poly gel and jewel forms it was my first go at this and I really enjoyed it Give us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Isabel May Nails, for loads of nail photos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!